day back in the city of Cleveland. Almost at our destination here. Oh yeah, getting very close. Excuse me, sir. Would you happen to know where the toll road leads? Here we go. Into the gates. I'm here. Looks like we've reached the end of the line here and we've got nowhere else to go, so we might as well turn around and go home. Hello world, it's your Uncle Heavy. Today I'm on location in Cleveland, Ohio, and I'm a little bit sad because my adventures down the toll road end today. Yes, this is my last stop before I gotta head back home and get back to the real world. So I'm here to visit Lakeview Cemetery. And of course, with me in the back there, toll from the toll road, road trip rich. We're gonna check out this cemetery. There's supposed to be quite a few cool things to see. President Garfield's buried here. There's some really, really cool angel statue that one of my Instagram friends sent me. So we're gonna take a walk around this cemetery, check it out. It'll be my last hurrah for my Ohio trip. No tickets required. Let's go see what kind of trouble we can get into. Do come along. This will help you make the most of things. Although nobody of real significance, this person was definitely an Indians fan. Not sure who he was, but he's got a very, very impressive headstone, especially for a 36 year old guy. So as you know, I absolutely just love touring cemeteries. On a day like today, the weather couldn't be more perfect. Out in the sunshine with some good friends, checking out some dead people. What do we have here poking up over the trees? Wow. Wow. This is the burial place of Ohio resident James A. Garfield. And I've seen many, many a magnificent burial structure, but this one seems to really take the cake. Looks like we got some relief carvings up there of him. And you know my favorite word, is it a gargoyle or is it a grotesque? You'd have to be here for rainstorm to find out. So I've done this before. There's a keyhole. See if we could see, oh we could see inside there. Just wanting to take a little walk around the whole outside of this so you could appreciate how enormous this structure is. Amazing. There's a pretty far drop down there. Some pretty amazing views from up here of the cemetery. Oh, this is open every day of the week except the daily day. That's my luck. <laughs> so that's just how it is with me and vlogging is that this facility is closed two days a week and one of them is the day that I come to visit. Still it's kind of impressive to look at from the outside I will definitely say that. It's very very castle like. So I know by the time I release this it's going to be after my Christmas story vlog. Does anybody want to go down to that flagpole and reenact the uh, the Schwartz incident being stuck to the pole? It would be different though. It would be so hot. It would be burnt to the pole. Yeah, okay, never mind. I'm giving this building a lot of attention, but it is kind of magnificent. I, I'm really kind of upset that we can't get in there and take a look around, but such is life. Toll just brought up a really, really good point. This cemetery seems to be sort of like the houses of Newport, Rhode Island, except for gravestones, it seems to be like almost a competition of who can make the more largest, most grandest tombstone ever.
Just look at this magnificent obelisk. I'll have to check and see what the stats are and how tall it is, but fantastic. Right at the base of this obelisk is the man himself, John Davidson Rockefeller. We all know him as John D. Died May 23rd, 1937. And can you imagine having this as your eternal marker? That's money. I hope this captures well on camera. Look at the way the sun is blocked at the top of that obelisk. That is cool. So you get to see a cool thing every once in a while, but that, that's pretty amazing. This here is the grave of S.S. Stone. Not entirely sure who he is, but He's sitting atop that stone, just watching the world go by. And of course, when you're trying to film, there's always a mower going on, always. Look at this, Wade. They got a chapel here for you. Shooting some more B-roll, but absolutely beautiful here. Not sure what we've stumbled onto here. I don't know, these look like some photographs of the cemetery itself, but they're here in the middle of this field. It's an odd thing, but I like odd things. Check out this amazing mausoleum here. And I've pointed this out before, especially like in Sleepy Hollow, a little smaller one next to it. I love it when they build mausoleums into the hill like this. For some reason, that's just so cool to me. If I were a younger man, I'd climb up there and get the shot from up above, but not today, I don't think so. Well, as it turns out, I didn't have to climb the hill because the road led to the top. How's about that view? <laughs> yeah, dangle my feet like the Grand Canyon. Yeah. <laughs> the truth is I did actually consider for about two minutes to climb that hill to get that shot. I'm so glad I decided not to. So this is kind of a an object of local legend. The name on it is Hazarut or Hazarot. I'm sorry I didn't do the research on the correct pronunciation. But if you look at her face, it appears like she's crying. Real tears. And then it's stained. But this is it. This was like the primary function of our coming to visit this cemetery. Are you guys impressed? I'm very impressed. So impressed. He's crying. So I do have to give a little shout out to my friends Chris and Ashley. They had sent me the idea to come visit here a couple years ago now. So hey guys, if you're still watching my channel, I finally made it. All sorts of interesting tokens. I always think it's amazing what people leave behind when they visit. I mean, I've always thought to bring change and anytime I've done a cemetery vlog, I always mention that I forgot to bring change, but quite a bit of interesting things here. That well, was finally nice to come and meet you. I'll have to move on and see what else is going on in the cemetery. The only downside of touring a cemetery is so many hills to walk. I mean, it's good I'm getting my steps in, but oh boy. This is an interesting stop here. This is the grave of Ray Chapman. And Ray Chapman is actually known for the fact that he's the first and only professional ball player who was killed by a pitch. You can see here lots of people have left tokens of baseballs, hats, Sunday helmets. So we even put a bobblehead up there. Kind of a sad story, but maybe it instituted the change to have batters wear batting helmets now. Although not the actual grave, here's a little dedication to the late Elliot Ness. If you're not familiar with Elliot Ness, he was the leader of the group known as the Untouchables that actually led to bringing down the crime lord Al Capone in Chicago. And they did it with a tax evasion charge. 
couple of trinkets up here. A little bit of a police car. Looks like an NYPD model. Looks like after he left working for the Department of the Treasury, he was a safety director here in Cleveland. Have no idea who he is or what his claim to fame is, but a lot of people bring pens here to leave by his grave. And Coca-Cola sunglasses. Is that a bowling ball? Does that look like a bowling ball? Is that? No, it's a globe. I thought it was a bowling ball. There is a globe. Oh, and it turns. There's a metal globe. The name is Lincoln. Now this gets the award for the most unique gravestone here. It's for Alan Freed, and according to this, he coined the word rock and roll. But what makes this stone really kind of cool is on this side, it's a Rockola jukebox. Looks like we're coming up on a, a nice pond here in the middle of the cemetery. Looking at all these tiny gravestones here, all around the pond. There's a nice fountain in the middle of the pond. Very peaceful. Hey, Toll. Yes, sir. Do you know why there's plastic swans in the middle of the lake or the pond? Oh, uh, decoration? No. Keep geese away. Ah. They're natural enemies of Canadian geese. Did you know I didn't know they were plastic? <laughs> you just told me. That. <laughs> now, this would probably be my gravesite one day. Not this particular place, but the sleeping cat. The name is Russian. I'm not even going to begin to try to how to pronounce that. But, gentleman with a guitar on a bench. I think his name is Sergey. I don't know, is this disrespectful? I don't think it's disrespectful. I, I, mean, I, gotta get I do love me some mausoleums. Don't know what it is about them. It's not being morbid. They're just... Absolutely beautiful. Kind of nice. It, it sort of looks like the Roman Parthenon. Time to leave and go back to the real world. That's going to do it for this vlog. I have to tell you I'm a little bit sad. Told we had a, an interesting series of adventures here. It was a good three months you spent in Ohio. Yeah, something like that. Or it's going to look like that when they all come out because yeah. I can edit about one a week, hopefully more than that. But um, I had a fantastic time. I really appreciate you taking me under your wing, showing me around this amazing state. And we did a lot of really cool things. So this is my first collab. It worked out really, really well. Yeah, I, we had a blast here. Yeah. I can't wait for this stuff to be up on the YouTube so we can watch it. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, so on that note, Hope you all enjoyed this vlog as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. You know the rest. So, till next time, signing off from Cleveland, Ohio with my good buddy Toll. Bye bye. And we can't forget to get Rich in here for the close and say bye bye. Bye bye.